Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intense immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay, judgment is final. Sorry. Uh, for Queen of Wands out there, um, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Energy, basically the Empress, uh, there's a woman that may want to come towards you to pay you <laughs> so that you can walk away, you can move away, so that something can go in her favor. This is someone that's been competing with you, but it's been a one-sided battle um, because now she knows she stands to lose the battle. This is how she thinks she's going to win. Sis is being used to paying her way through everything. All she got to do is pull out the checkbook and everybody, is, so everything is okay. Everybody bends, everybody breaks. Is that, oh, what? You're going to give me a million dollars to walk away from my dreams? Girl, I didn't even know if this dream stuff was going to go anywhere. Of course, I'll take the million dollars. And with you, it's an end. Your ancestors said no. Exactly. Your ancestors said no. Do not. Okay? So whoever this one of pentacles is that wants to come towards you to give you this uh check, maybe it's not even worth your time. Even if it says $2 million on there, it's not worth your time. You're somebody that's going to be so abundant in life. It's going to be ridiculous. Ten of Pentacles kind of energy. So somebody even giving you a check for $5 million, $14 million, whatever it is, it ain't worth your time. She don't even got that kind of money to give you, by the way. Okay? Someone's about to be filing for bankruptcy, and she put herself in that predicament. So don't let this woman come into your energy to give you any check for nothing. Nothing at all. Someone, she is trapped. Trapped in some type of situation, confused, trying to figure out why it is she worked against you with these people to stop some type of uh, uh, charity from coming towards you. I don't know if someone wanted to be generous to you and she decided to stop that. And now she's all over the place, confused. She said, why did I do this to myself? Why did I do this? Why did I decide to lie? Why did I lie to this king of wands? Why was I jealous of this person getting this offer from this king of wands? How did I, how long did I think this was going to last? I should have known this was never going to uh, uh, be successful as far as trying to stop this queen of wands from, you know, receiving uh, assistance from this person or receiving a contract from this person. I don't know what you're supposed to be receiving from this person, but there's some type of contract that uh, somebody, I said contract. <laughs> There's some type of contract that's supposed to come your way and this woman has been working with people behind the scenes to stop it. And now she's very confused because she's been trying to steal something from you, take ownership of something, block you, stop you, destroy you, hinder you. And it's like the universe is saying, we don't care how long you do this. This person is still getting wish fulfillment. They're still going to get a contract. I'm telling you, still going to get a contract, still going to be healed, still fulfilled. Like someone has undone. I keep saying that. Like she has undone herself. It's that someone was taking actions against you to destroy you. But in the process of trying to destroy you, she caused herself everything. Okay. And what the Lord do it, you don't even have to lift a finger. Maybe you're like myself. We do that hands up approach. We don't, you know, uh, retaliate and things like that unless we really have to i mean if you would have retaliated in this situation it would have been justifiable um so whatever this is maybe i don't know what to tell her but you made your bed you're gonna have to lay in it there's something about being carried away and that thing um uh, never mind i'm not gonna say it's something about someone being carried away like you're being taken out of some type of situation and being carried away into a better place okay so some type of elevation for you okay so let yourself be caught up uh in the whirlwind of a romantic moment okay unlock your heart so make sure that you um this is what i'm reading uh going forward okay don't dwell on the past but focus on creating a brighter future, manifest anew. So there's something where it's a, there's going to be some type of shift in your life. You're in some type of predicament right now. People have worked really hard to keep you in or put you in, whatever it is. But it's like you are still in this 
situation with a very cheerful heart, a very optimistic mindset, very enthusiastic, uh, open and things like that to life, the possibilities, basically in the energy of the fool, which is what the universe is wanting for you at the moment, right? Um, and there's something where it says somebody's going to come along and take you out of this a hair five of pentacles energy and take you into something better okay and this is your justice in life okay um but there's something where this queen of pentacles reverse has been working really hard behind the scenes with a group of friends to deter you off of your destiny so she has gone from paying people to block you stop you and things like that so now it may come down to a point where it said oh maybe i need to work with these people to uh um to give to this person but behind the scenes she is still trying to stop you she's still blocking you she's still causing confusion she's still manipulating this is somebody on you this woman don't care someone has taken offense to something that she chose to take offense to uh so maybe she was exposed to something and she felt like it was a let's say divination you know some people not you all collective but there are people there are people that watch readers and you don't know them from a can of paint or from atoms. Don't got any type of perfect, uh, per, uh, excuse me, personal relationship or maybe even professional relationship with them. But because they are aware of who you are and they have inner demons that they don't want to heal, they're dealing with a lot of traumas and things like that. You may say something that ruffles their feather and they feel like it's about them some way, somehow. Say, see, I told you she's talking about me. And you said, uh... Do you even talk to this person? Do this person even know that you exist? Uh, what What is going on here? That is something like that. She feels like you are talking about her. You know who she is. You may not know who this woman is. You may know her professionally, but you ain't, you ain't talking about her. I hope you, aren't, you ain't talking about her. I don't think you are. But there's some type of distorted mindset way of thinking this woman has where she knows how to manipulate let's say you're talking about because i picked up on this a while back like if you know a christian couple that you talk to your friends with and something comes up about a higher fan because some people don't understand these cards the meanings and things like that the car the higher fan is a religious energy right a religious figure very traditional orthodox and things like that in the upright in the reverse they are a little bit more unhinged so let's say you get a download about a pastor or something like that or about a, a, a religious couple doing something they shouldn't be doing, something unorthodox. She's going to go tell the couple that you know, the religious couple that you know, she's going to go tell them that you are talking about them. And then when they watch your content, they're going to say, oh, wow, they really are talking about us. I thought this person was uh, genuine. I thought this person was, this. but they said, no, they're not talking about you. They're, like they're talking about somebody that they've picked up on. Like, if the higher fan is out here, that means they're talking about somebody religious or they got a download on a religious character. And, you know, for some reason, the world we live in, a lot of these religious characters on TV, they ain't up to, up to part. Okay? They're going to the, uh, daily parties and things like that. So, it could be something like that. If someone knows how to misuse what it is you do for the wrong reasons, uh, if you're talking about a, a, a man in, let's say you're talking about Joe Blow, you come up with a name, Joe Blow, and you're talking about Joe Blow. Unless it's something about Joe Blow resonates with a masculine that she knows or you know or whatever, she's going to go tell that masculine, I told you she was talking about you. You said, what? What? So whatever this is, be very cautious. Don't let this woman around you. Don't let her think she's your, makes you think like you and her are friends. This is not somebody that you need to be friends with. This is somebody, everything they do, they do there's some type of financial motive to it. It's a power trip for her. Okay. Um, working hard to disturb your peace. Working hard to make sure all of your plans fail. She and her friends, they're working hard. All of them are working very hard. So on a superficial level, on the surface, it could look like they're working hard to settle things with you, make things right. No, they're not. Underneath the surface, what they're doing is still causing blockages and still means. These are not your friends, okay? This is like misleading and things like that. I'm recording this thing like I think like three days ahead because I plan on taking a couple of days off from recording. But who knows? I may change my mind. Yeah, exactly. 
They are trying to stop your plans. Trying to fit. They're working hard. You know, whatever plans you have, whatever, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 you know, future, like, goals you have for yourself. They're trying to figure it out so that they can destroy it. And, I, and like I said, on the surface level, it looks like they're trying to work things out with you. But they're not. This woman is angry that people still love you. This woman is angry that you are healed, you're healing. This woman is angry that you're still pouring into yourself. You are still in some type of loving energy. You're still optimistic. Uh, you're still frugal. You're still fruitful. Baby, everything good about you, she hates and she's angry about that. She's trying to cause confusion about your energy. And that's because she's going through losses and things like that. There's some type of disappointment that's about to happen for this woman. Um, baby, it's well deserved. It's well deserved. I don't feel sorry for these kind of people. I don't. Never will. Anyways. Things are still going to be balanced out for you. You're still going to be receiving your Ten of Cups energy, Ten of Pentacles. And it's getting closer to time for you. Your ancestors are protecting something for you. Uh, so at the end of this, whatever this is, this woman calls it, uh, she's going to realize that one, she just spent a lot of money for no reason. She uh, lost a lot of friendships and things like that for no reason because it could be something where people don't even want to be a part of this nonsense anymore. You could have an institution, a family. You're all going through losses, experiencing financial losses, money and things like that. Maybe somebody even passed away or whatever this is. They're going to be very pissed off because you're still going to be receiving what the universe has deemed you worthy of. Okay, And you're going to be moving forward victoriously. This woman is unhinged, okay? Maybe she had some type of temporary uh, success in stopping you, blocking you, but maybe that's all it was, temporary. Because the universe is the ones that, one that has the final say. It ain't her or nobody else that she's walking, working with or walking around with that's making her feel like she is the powerful one. Or Because and in this case coming up, people that are thirsty for power would never truly acquire it. They got to force it. They got to manipulate in order to feel like they have power. That's not power. True power, you don't got to manipulate. People are naturally drawn to you. They naturally know that you are a leader. So you don't got to force them to do nothing. You don't got to yell at them to do nothing. You don't got to talk down to them. You don't got to belittle people. Nothing to prove that you are more powerful. You are their superior. You are in charge. They'll know naturally that's my boss. That's my supervisor. Okay. You don't got to force all of that. So people that do all of this manipulative tactics, if you don't do this, if you, your job is on the line. If you don't do this, I'm not giving you that bonus. If you don't do this, you can count yourself unemployed. If you don't do this, ain't nobody going to talk to you in this company. If you don't do this, I'm going to make your life miserable. You're pathetic. You're pathetic as heck. I remember uh, uh, an administrator tried to do that to me. Went all out behind the scene, and I just booked at him like, baby, sir, go ahead and pop off. I'm working. He comes into the company. I don't know if they had like a secret society thing going on. I didn't care. I really don't care. That's how these companies operate these days. Uh, you know, he he's going all book wild crazy. He don't care to listen to anything people say. He came with his own team. They don't care what's going on with other people. They just care about themselves. All of them. They were the same. So he said something to... That something happened. And I spoke up against it. Because there were policies put in place. And if you're telling me to follow policies with one person, I need to follow the policy with the other person. Correct? Right. You put the policy in place for a reason. So they told me to do something. He told me to do something. It was against policy. So I reached out to corporate about it because I was kind of getting sick and tired of this man. Let me do my job and go home. Like you're in here just causing havoc for no reason. People shouldn't have favoritism at work. Companies shouldn't be allowing that. But we live in a world, let's be realistic, that's all they do. You can't come with your own team and they got favoritism. They can get whatever it is they want, but the people that have been in this company for 20, 30, 40 years show up faithfully, have loyalty to the company. They can't get any of those things. So I reached out to corporate to inquire about it. And, you know, the, the, the one at corporate was just like him. And he went along with it. 
I said, okay, so I see what's going on here. That's cool. Baby, you don't got to tell me twice. So time go on. He sends me an email talking about I can should come down to his office when I have time so we can talk. I go there. He's talking to me, talking about, are we going to have a problem with you taking orders from me here? I'm like, what the heck are we talking about? Like, I'm following policy. Like, why is, he, why is this man trying to make it look like I'm giving him problems? This was the ammo he was using. And I think... Because, you know, I'm someone very intuitive. He thought he was going to do this long enough to the point where, you know, I would end up being seen as a problem, get fired. Maybe I didn't care how these people saw me. I'm going to show up here, do my job, make my money, and go home. You decide to fire me, by all means, go ahead. Okay? So, he's asking me all of these questions. Are we going to have problems with you taking orders from me and things like that? Are we going to have problems? Uh, he, he asked me a couple of questions. I told him, listen... I don't mind taking uh, orders from you. You're my superior, basically. So, so I said something to him of this nature. I don't mind taking part, uh, orders from you. You're my superior. That's what I'm here to do. You're the administrator. I'm here to follow orders from you. You know, what you need me need for me to do is what I'll do, right? Uh, and I told him, but and I, listen, this is where my mouth, this is where my mouth, my mouth, my mouth. Lord have mercy, ancestors, I need you to put me in my own place where I don't got to deal with nobody because, you know, I can't put up with nasty energies like these. So I told him, if you're kind to me, I'll be kind to you, okay? But if you're not kind to me, then, <laughs> right? So when I said that to him, I, first of all, I felt like this man had something with, like, who I was. How I carry myself, how I talk, like he wanted, he got, he took his soul personally. Like this is how he was. This is what, this is how this man was. Like he took it so personally that I stood up to him. I was supposed to be like shy and just shrivel up in my shell, not say nothing, and he took it personally. So he started like coming after me. I mean hard, and I'm just watching it. And, like, it got to a point where I'm like, oh, my gosh, my supervisor is bullying me and things like that. So, I tried to stay calm with it, but it got to a point where I couldn't do it anymore. So, I reached back out to corporate. Like, this man went all out trying to destroy me. And I'm just looking at it. I'm like, Lord have mercy. If it, 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 <laughs> I ain't even going to say that. I, but I was just like, oh, my gosh. But it's something like that. It's like some people, that they, they, they want you to shrivel up because they're your supervisor they want you to shrivel up because they're the owner of the company they want you to just shrivel up and let them do whatever it is they want to do to you and everybody else and someone like me that kind of stuff don't fly when i'm around you may tell me i'm fired but that's okay go ahead and fire me but at the end of the day i'm still going to tell you hey that's freaking wrong like you can't come in and say oh this person, you know, I'm looking out for my team that I brought with me so they can get, they can come on board with 180 hours of vacation. But the the people that's been here for 40 years, they got to wait till their anniversary to get 180 hours of vacation or holiday pay. These people who haven't even been here for three months or nothing, but they can get holiday pay. And then you want me to tell a, an employee that's been here uh, for almost, what, two months or something, three months. Oh, you know, your, vacation, your, your holiday, you, you, you don't qualify for holiday. Yeah, you'll qualify for holiday next week. The heck are you talking about? What are we doing here? I thought you were a business. Now, what kind of coat are you guys in? Because that's giving coat, 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 coat mindset. And I, I came to find out, baby, it was something similar going on there. Like, like, nah, I'm not, but listen, I don't care because my security is not in people. It's in the universe. It's in God. And I know God is going to see me through whatever the heck situation I encounter. So if I'm told to speak up, I am going to speak. I don't care who you are, my boss, who, my mommy. Listen, if even God tell me to speak to Jesus Christ, I'm going to talk to Jesus Christ. I don't give two Fs. Not today, tomorrow, any day. So I'm not going to sit back and let you bully people and not say nothing. Now, when you meet me, I may come across as meek and feeble and things like that. But maybe I surprise you. And I'm pretty sure I surprised him when I spoke up for myself. He said, oh, 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 I thought this one was a pushover. I thought I was just... So he started doing things from behind the scene. And I guess maybe he didn't know I had a third eye. Like, I would be home seeing him in my office, going through things, taking out checks and things like that, writing checks. And I'm like... Dude, it's like 11 o'clock at night. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning. What are you doing in my office? 
taking files out of there so they can be deemed missing. And then he'll ask me for the same files he took out of my office. Like, this is how crazy somebody was. Like, you're literally in my office taking files out of there. And then he'll ask me for those very files a couple of days later. Hey, can I have the file for this person? He's like, you know very well you took the file out of my office. Or I'll put a file on his desk for him to do his part. Won't do it. Take it and put it somewhere else. And they want to ask me, have you seen this person's file, sir? I should be asking you for those files. I don't ask you for those files like three times now. Where are the files? Like just, like, like, why, why are you at that age and you don't know right from wrong or you don't care about right, or, right from wrong? Why don't you have common sense? Why are you all not able to separate your personal feelings from your business uh, obligations? You don't like somebody because they stand up for themselves. You don't like somebody because they are a specific color. You don't like somebody because they don't act like the other people in their race as you deem them. Say, oh, you know, uh, I don't like this one. She thinks that she's uh, she, she's uh, 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 different than her, her kind. They're all supposed to be this way. They're all supposed to be loud, ghetto, obnoxious, and things like that. Like a bigotry mindset, prejudice mindset. And the sad part is the people that he brought with him, they were all people of color. And they didn't even know like he had that mindset about them. Like, it, 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 it was really sad because I would see this man... And like my ancestors, the petty like myself, and they're just telling me everything about him, everything he don't been through, what he does behind the scenes. And I'm just looking at him like, you really don't know I could destroy you with the truth to you about you. Like I can break you down right here, but I am funder. Got bills too big, but you keep pushing it. You, you ever had, like, that's the thing when people are bullying people, they don't know who they're bullying. You ever been bullying somebody and they can literally see you doing what you're doing when they're not around? Like, I literally used to see this man unlocking my office. I'm laying at home, my mind's eyes, I'm seeing him unlocking my office, going through desks and files and things like that, taking out employee files, right, causing problems in my office and things like that, breaking into computers. I put the lock on there. Security passwords and things on there. He go in there and take it off. Trying to make it seem like I was doing something in the system. I'm like, what, what is wrong with it? This is the person that they're hired as a, 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 a an administrator. This is like what you what you do to qualify to be an administrator. No common sense. Nothing. So I put two and two together. It's a cult. It's a cult. Cause it, it don't make no sense to be that dumb. It don't make that sense to be that malicious. And this is the same mindset these people are using. They don't they came together, created a cult just to take one person down. Just to take one person down. Is that we're gonna do it from behind the scenes, just like my previous administrator. We're gonna I'm gonna do it from behind the scenes. She won't even know like it's me. And then there was a woman in the company at the top. That got offended because I stood up for myself. Uh, on one hand, she was happy that I stood up for myself. But the, the way that I stood up for myself was a problem for her. Like, how are you all coming after people that can that can read your mind? That, that know what it is. I know what you're thinking. Like, how? How? <laughs> how? Like, I got to put a little bit of humor to it. But why are you all coming after people like workers that know who you are? And especially with the fact that they can see you when you're doing something, what they can hear what you're saying, who you're saying it to. They know the endings ahead of you. Why are you so determined to destroy yourselves? I don't get it. It's this cult like mentality. We're going to do it from behind the scenes. I need you to help me do this so we can take her down. We're going to get a lot of money out of this. You ain't going to get nothing out of this. The, the, the whole of you are going to be in distress. The whole family, the whole institution, whatever this is, you're, in, you're going to be in distress. Because at the end of the day, the universe is still going to balance something out. People are here on contracts. And you all can keep choosing to live this mediocre lifestyle, have these mediocre mindsets and things like that. And act like, you know, this lifetime, this is just it. This is not just it. This is not just it. 
you are held accountable for everything you do in life. For example, if you're doing something, so, God forbid you're sick, you got some type of chronic illness, right? And you're doing this to somebody and the universe has been giving you time to retract, recant, stop doing something and you still don't want to. Don't you know they'll speed up that illness? You used to be able to manage the pain, but now you can't even manage the pain. It don't matter. You take the medication for pain. It's not helping. That's them speeding up the process so you can get the heck up out of here because you just ain't learning the lessons. Like, like something is very dark, it's insidious, it's very malicious. And these kind of people, this is all they know how to do. How can we destroy this person from behind the scenes? They've done it before. And the oh yeah, the way that man moved at their company, he had done it before. He had destroyed other careers before. Like he was, he was setting, they were setting something up. Like he spun some type of narrative. She assisted him, the one at the, uh, the higher up. They all uh, 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 spun some type of narrative. It's like they were waiting for the right time to strike. And they would say, you and no, 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 no. You can go as far as you want to, as long as you want to. But I guarantee you, the universe is going to take care of every single one of you behind one at a time. So go ahead, group up. Come up with your plans. Do whatever you want to do. Pay whoever you want to pay. Lie to whoever, whoever you want to lie to. Manipulate whoever you want to manipulate. But I guarantee you, when it's all over, said and done, some of you are going to be locked up. Some of you are going to be unemployed, divorced, broke, homeless, yada, 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 sick, can't heal. Okay? So it's something like this. And these kind of people, they don't know how to let go. You get away from them, they follow you. You leave that position, they follow you. You leave that company, they follow you. You leave that location, they follow you. It's like a mental illness. It becomes it, it becomes an obsession with another person. But in the whole time, they feel like they're doing the right thing. They're, they're on a mission. And so, we ain't never gonna let you rest. We ain't, but it's like, uh, I, I sleep good at night. <laughs> We're going to keep disturbing your peace. My peace is still. My peace is still. That, that, this is how it be. Like they'll follow you all over the place. Trying to, trying to wreak havoc in your life. The whole time they don't realize they're the one losing resources. They're the one losing family members. They're the one losing jobs, security, resources, all kinds of stuff. But the whole time you're going to sleep good at night. Your ancestors are making sure you're secure. These are the ones going out of their way to sneak into homes and things like that make people feel uncomfortable. They, they want you to know that a cult is after you or a group is after you and we're never going to stop coming after you. That's okay. Keep going on. Make sure you pass it on to the next generation of your family so they can pick up where you left up when you, when you pass away. Since you're that dedicated, make it a, a lineage thing in your bloodline. We're going to groom the children on how to be this insidious we're going to groom the children on how to be immature. We're going to groom the kids on how to be insecure. We're going to groom the children on how to be mentally unstable. When they grow up, they're going to go follow the generations of this, these light workers. Go ahead. But as you're doing that, those light workers are going to keep thriving, healing, recovering, pouring into themselves and the communities they're in. And they're going to keep what? They're growing, nurturing themselves. Their dreams and aspiration. Keep on building abundance. Keep on being a wealthy and things like that. Financially, spiritually, whatever way you can think of. And you're, you're going to keep your lineage in a karmic cycle. They're never going to win. It's never going to be over. Cursing yourselves, your destinies, your, 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 your lineages. It don't make no sense. Cursing your lineages. This queen of pentacles reversed has cursed her lineage because someone is so superficial wants to be wants to be seen as gifted don't understand magic this is somebody who things don't go their way they lose their mind because they don't like this woman don't got no talent if she does she hasn't discovered it yet the only thing she knows how to do is manipulate oh you know i'm i'm this complexion or 
you know, this complexion or I'm, um, you know, a uh, fair skin. So, you know, they're going to want to work with me. She's darker. He's darker. So they're not going to want to work with her. They're not going to fit in this feel. They're too raw. They're too authentic. They're too original. They're too this or too that. Nobody told you any of that. Your small minded self, your pea side brains that you have like myself here, except mine ain't limited. It's what's bringing all of those out. Your insecurities. You saw somebody, which is what I keep seeing, a queen of pentacles reversed, saw a queen of wands, queen of cups energy, and automatically the demon in that queen of pentacles reversed started <sighs> <sighs> vibrating uncontrollably. This is a cult they've created. This is a cult mindset. And you're going around paying people to sign these and contracts and things like that where they're not going to disclose what it is they partook in. Maybe nobody needs to know that they sign anything. Nobody needs to know. Uh, you, you can see how they move and you can know they're trapped in something they don't want to be a part of. You, you don't make false promises and things like that. Say, when I get this position, I'm going to give you this money. When I get this position, I'm going to give you this position. What? Did you clear that up with the universe? You didn't clear that up with the universe? Okay. Did the universe tell you they were going to bless you with that position? That abundance? They didn't tell you that? No? Okay. Making false promises to people. And they're crazy enough to follow you. Yeah. Still trying to stop people from... Like, they're trying to stop your intellect from being discovered. It's what I've been picking up too. They don't want people to, to see you as intellectual. They don't want people to see you as someone as assertive. You're, you, they don't want people to know that you're quick-witted and things like that. Okay? You know, they don't, she don't want you to be outspoken. She don't want you to. Like someone don't, someone wants you to be a mute. If you could be deaf too, it would make her happy. She wants you to be a mute. Don't want you to see things the way you see it. She wants to come in and say, oh, you know, you... You may be a little confused on what we've been doing. No, nah, baby, ain't nobody confused but you. You are confused. You don't know you're confused. Whoever you're coming around knows that you've been trying to steal from them, trying to keep them stuck, buying them and things like that. So you're the confused one. Why are you that dedicated to stop somebody? What's on the line for you? Is money on the line from you, for you? You're trying to stop a king, queen, of, uh, queen of swords from being seen, from being heard, from talking. But they're coming out as the page of swords to the queen of swords. Meaning, baby, they ain't going nowhere. She ain't going to shut up. She's going to keep talking. And every time the woman says something, it's probably exposing something about you. Your insecurities. Your lies. Your deceptions. You're manipulating the people around you. In a sense, you've been playing chess and they've been playing checkers. And they need to go within and figure out what the heck it is they don't partook in. Maybe, I don't know what kind of stuff this is, but, whoo. He said, we need to stop them from being seen. We need to stop them. We need to stop them from being seen. We need to stop them from talking. Somebody need to go in there and do this to them. Make sure you set this up. They're going to go over here, go there. Do this to them. Cause them a lot of pain so they can shut up. It, it, none of that. The university is not going to permit any of that. You don't have the clearance to do that. You don't have the clearance to do that. And nobody can ever find out about this. They're going to find out. Don't talk about this outside of this room. They're going to. They have. They did. And it ain't looking good for the whole family. Like I said, y'all don't want from the Ten of Pentacles or the Five of Cups or the Five of Pentacles. What are y'all doing? Destroying your futures. That's okay. We'll, we will let you off. While you're, while you're going through all of that, you're still trying to... Uh, 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 Create scarcity tactics. 
let, 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 let's do this so they can know that they can feel like nobody wants to work with them. This, this gentleman does not want to work with her or him. That this institution is not interested. This cycle is never going to be over. Maybe who, who are you trying to do that to? A high priestess? You do know that they know more about this. <laughs> they, they, they see more than you do, right? Yeah, they see more than you do. This community knows the truth. It could be a couple in here that's about to be confessing something. Or maybe a, a couple getting, someone getting married and things like that ain't happening in your beginning. After you've done everything to stop them from having some type of victory. And they're still going to be having it. It's a confession about some type of betrayal coming out. Somebody betrayed a queen. Somebody betrayed a queen of swords. And this is more than likely someone that was very close to you. I don't know who this is. Yeah, they betray a queen of swords. Uh, you're, you're, I don't know if this is someone who was your twin flame or whatever this was. Yeah. Some type of betrayal took place. So I, it's a lot of hatred in it. Just animosity and jealousy towards a divine uh, 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 connection. Okay. Someone could be sick. Yeah, I did mention something about sickness. Someone could be sick. And I don't know. Someone is tired, they're exhausted, they want some time off. Maybe the leader of a community is tired. Maybe he may need some time off to rest or something, put something to rest. Someone could be passing away in a community. I don't know what this is. Maybe the leader of a community passed away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Justice. Justice to the judgment. Dang. There's a good karma playing out and it's being protected by the spirit realm. There's some type of epiphany. You could have a lawyer that's having some type of epiphany as well about a situation. Some type of good karma playing out as well. Some type of uh, a rebirth in a situation. Which is very much necessary. It's needed. Group thing, like this kind of group thinking is very dangerous. It's very dangerous for everybody. Yeah. And they're worried. It's a whole community that man, this woman is not doing good. Whoever this queen of pentacles reverse is, she ain't doing good. Eight of swords to so the two of swords, nine of swords. This woman is not doing good at all. And but she's still working very hard to destroy any of your plans, any offers from coming towards you. You having victory and all of that everything there's something something may not be recoverable i don't know if there's somebody's health is not recovering some of me and are passing away they betray like somebody betray a divine connection i don't know if your twin flame betrayed you someone you were supposed to partner up with betray you and some type of either death or sickness is about to take place and this is the the the, the justice being ran uh um uh, being made by the spirit around me other for something to be over um but somebody is sick somebody is sick and they may be going back to the spirit realm um and i i i, I did excuse me i i don't know like the truth the truth is out at this point i don't know what this is it's like you keep doing something and you're not getting the results that you want, but you keep doing it. It's that you think the more, the longer you go, the likely, the more, the likelihood it is that you're going to have some type of victory. But with the universe, like everything around you has told you, you're not going to have success. You're not going to have victory. It's something is not going to work out in your favor, but you still want to keep doing it because you're, you're hateful. You're narcissistic, jealous, and th like, I, I don't get this. Whoever this woman is in a community, she may look like she's working with you all on the surface to fix something. She ain't working with you all. She is still doing something behind the scenes. Still doing something. She's still stalking. She is still, like, this is an older woman stalking someone else. Like, it's embarrassing. Like, I, like, I, I try to imagine, like, me getting online to stalk someone younger than me. 
I said, there, there she goes. She's posting again. Talking about this and talking about that. Oh my gosh, I wish she would shut up. Like, all you got to do is turn your phone off and leave that person alone. First of all, I ain't getting on no social media to go stalk somebody. I don't get to ask what you got going on. That's something younger folks do. We all do stupid stuff like that when we're younger or something. Not here and there. Like, oh, da 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 da, da. I'm going to go see what they're doing. But as you get older, who cares? And this is why I don't even like, be on social media like that. I post on YouTube, watch stuff on YouTube, get off of YouTube. That's it. I don't got no, I don't get on no TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Uh -uh. For me, it's it, it, 90% is for posting <laughs> on YouTube. And then I'll turn on some videos from my fellow practitioners that I actually enjoyed their work or turn on some uh, meditation music, listen to some music sometimes. That's about it. But if it ain't that, I don't care what's going on. I don't care who's who, celebrity-wise. I don't care. Uh, like, I'm not dedicated to any of that stuff. Every now and then, I'll indulge into this topic or this niche or something. That's it. But I don't care who's who, who's in town, who has going what, who has what going on. Who's getting married to who? Who's not getting married to who? Who has what? Where they live? Who they know? Uh, how much money do they have? They mean, do I have more money than... I don't care. I don't care. Am I more educated than them? Are they more educated than me? Am I prettier than them? Are, are they prettier than... What kind of... That is so middle school. That is so middle school. Do the kids in high school even behave like this anymore? Because... Most of them are growing up so fast. I don't even think they are uh, wearing diapers anymore. It's like they're skipping. They're skipping that stage of growth. They don't even wear diapers anymore. They just come out of the womb and say, I, I want some fried chicken. I don't want no, I don't got time for no milk. I got things to do. Okay. So on, on a surface level, maybe this woman wants to make it look like she's fixing things. She ain't fixing nothing. Is that literally someone is working hard to undo whatever it is. If, if hypothetically a community is trying to fix something, this woman is behind the scenes undoing everything that you all are doing. And this is why you're going to keep experiencing these losses. Okay, so like on the surface, it may look like she's working with you or to balance something out. But on the beneath that, she's working hard to undo the plans. And maybe some of you are still working with this woman to handle somebody's plans, get ahead of somebody to see where they're going, what they're doing, so that you can destroy it. It's all going to backfire on you all. Like you all are losing. Every, it, there is no like realm where you are going to be successful against the universe. You're not going up against a queen of wands anymore. You're going up against the universe. And they are going to be hitting you all tick for tack. And say, you know when the, except you know when the universe hits you tick for tack. How they hit you, maybe you feel it. You feel it for a long time. May not be able to recover from it. But I can guarantee you this one of wands is going to be happy. Got the Ace of Cups out here. Uh, Three of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. A lot of Abundance card out here. Ace of Wands. Got all the Aces out here. Four of Wands. Two of, baby, everything. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. So someone is going to have everything their heart desires and then some. And you're all going to have to sit and watch that happen. You ain't going to stop nothing. You ain't going to block nothing. When the universe deems this entertainment over, listen, that woman is going to be plucked right out of that slum and put right into Beverly Hills. I'm just telling you all what I'm being told to tell you. So you can pay all the money you want. She ain't going nowhere. If this is a man, he ain't going nowhere. They're not going to shut up. We got the page of swords to the queen of swords. They're not going to shut up. They're not going to stop working. Whatever they're doing is part of who they are. It's part of their destiny. Okay? So, keep trying, keep, keep sabotaging. Keep betraying because there's a lot of betrayal out here. Someone betrayal, betray a connection. Uh, keep doing whatever it is you're doing, but you're causing yourself more problems. And Miss Queen of Pentacles reverse, you and that woman ain't friends. Don't come to that woman. I don't know if you thought you were going to come to them. 
and you're going to pretend to be friends with them and you two are going to mend things and then we're going to work together or so something you don't come to that woman she, she's not interested that sister is doing her own thing somewhere it's like mm -mm, i'm good i'm good Mm, I see something that's about to play out in this woman's life. It's okay. It is definitely going to be a-okay. Dang. Mm, all right. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.